This is the uh, obviously a big block Chevrolet set up on the on the mill. Um, one of the things I wanted to kind of show you here is we've zeroed decked this block. Or I'm sorry, we've uh, we've zeroed this block in so that it is perfectly square to the cutting tool. Um, but I want you to look at this deck because this is going to show the importance of having this block machined. Now we've made an initial pass of about uh, two thousandths and if you look at the deck of this block here you can see that the tool cleaned up right here right in this area but if you look over here the tool didn't even touch here so we've got a low spot here and I know that it's not because the block is <clears throat> not set up squarely because we've, we've uh, squared it in with an indicator and if you look over here the tool cleaned up real nice right here kinda missed this but you go over to this side and it didn't even touch down here so it's 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 grabbing this spot here it's coming over it's grabbing this spot here so what that tells me is this <clears throat> this deck is is twisted and that's what happens a lot of times you may put a straight edge on this thing um, and it's perfectly fine but you have to actually go diagonally with that straight edge because the block will actually twist you may not pull any warpage per se as we go along the block here we can see our tooling grabbed right here you can kind of see that the shadows or the chattering the tooling didn't touch here at all but then it starts cutting here because this is a high spot that means that this area here including where this fire ring is is low um, that's going to cause distortion and that could actually cause head gasket leakage. We go to the other side of the cylinder, didn't even touch it. So um, we actually pulled minimal warpage off of this block when we checked it. You keep going back to this cylinder, didn't even touch here, but you can see that we've got a high spot here. It shaved off about that much and then it quit hitting. And again, this tool is going all the way across. So, when you come down here, we got this area cleaned up. The tool didn't even touch this fire ring area around this cylinder. So, we're going to obviously have to continue uh, to mill this till we get this trued up. This is part of a performance uh, engine build. What we're doing to this big block is we want to make sure that these decks are perfectly true and flat to the center line. <clears throat> we have a bar installed in the main housings and there's a couple of uh, rings that actually bolt into two of the main caps on the ends. You can see that, I don't know if you can see that ring down there, but that bar is going through a ring that's bolted into the mains. And we're going to make this deck perfectly square. There's the ring there in the end. We're going to make this deck perfectly square to the crankshaft center line, which is really the way it should be. Now, from the factory, a lot of times they're not like that. They they uh, they are done on assembly line very quickly, and they just get them close. We want it to be perfect, obviously. We want everything to be perfect, and so what we're doing is we are <laughs> we're going to set this up, and we're going to square deck it. But again, very important that you remember: just because the straight edge is not pulling any warpage doesn't mean that you don't have high and low spots and some distortion on that bore. So anytime you do a performance job, it's almost mandatory to actually go in and, and mill the block. Um, we do it to everything we build, even if we're just taking a skim cut. And a lot of times, we will set it up and take a cut just to see how many high and low spots we have and how bad it is. Um, some blocks, they aren't that bad. This one here, this is about average. They usually find uh, high and low spots very similar to this, even though we pulled no warpage with a straight edge. So, something to think about.